Yes, sir. It's your friend, uh, Gimp Face. How's everybody doing? It's been a while since we've taken a look at the original masterpiece, which you too can own uh, a piece of history of. Now, what's next? Um, so, if you've been following me this past week, uh, past few weeks, or, you know, for a while, we have mentioned the patterns of early week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday, as far as what Bitcoin's price action is. Monday, Tuesday, we go down, Thursday, Friday, um, we've been going up recently, so, um, I'm not gonna make anything too bold, although what we could be seeing, folks, and it's been a long time, you know, overall, the market is expecting that November, December, October are going to be positive times for Bitcoin as we enter this near end of this triangle trend. But I see a potential, and we haven't seen one in quite some time, Chinese Ching Chong. Right now we have the Chai, we have the Ni. If this Ching and then it's Chong up here, if it's cruising straight up and we see four symmetrical humps, we are dumping the farm. Dumping the farm. Because it's been a while since we've seen a Chinese a Ching a Chong. It's been a while. Let's take a closer look. I should have plugged my mouth in. This is real time, by the way, folks. This is real time action. Wow, look at this Chong um, close up. As you can see, these are this is exactly what we look for. This is exactly the sym symmetrics of a Chinese Ching Chong. So I could actually speculate. I could, we could put a long in to, mm, let's see, we're approaching this trend right here, and this is dangerous territory. Boy, I see, I tell ya, I tell ya, I tell ya. I wouldn't make any big moves, big risky moves right now. That's what I'm gonna say. Don't make any crazy big moves. Wow, take a look at this. Here's the SEC news we've all been waiting to hear. SEC charges Tesla Elon Musk with fraud. Now, here's a clear example of how CNBC can affect the price and then say something that's completely retarded. And I want you to listen to this. This uh, charge from the SEC, Go, you do I think you the need. broader question that shareholders are now trying to assess is, what impact does this have on Tesla's ability to raise capital, let's say over the next oh. six months to the next year? Okay. so. The whole reason why Elon Musk made that statement is because me and Mr. Musk actually have a few things in common. We have chic connections, multiple chic connections. Um, and so Elon Musk isn't worried about raising capital. Um, now this asshole says in the next six months to a year, Tesla doesn't really need to raise capital um, by si in six months to a year. They're not in a type of position where they're backed in a corner of bankruptcy or something. Um, Tesla just had a major pump of their stocks. So look at it, dump 15 points, and this guy says something completely stupid. Because this is a company that almost everybody agrees will need to raise capital if it's going to continue expanding production as it is. But not in six months to a year like you previously said. Anyways, so that's something fun. That's fun. What else? All right. Um, yeah, so yesterday, um, I probably should have posted in the Discord. I got out, for those of the BitMEX folks, I got out at like 64.35. Um, I didn't post anything. I'm gimped. I had a bunch of shit to do. If you want to know where I'm going to be next, um, I will be this weekend. 
in or close to Dana Point, California. Um, so, if you want to buy me a drink or something, no guarantees, but let me know if you're close by. Um, I would absolutely love, it would take a while for us to play out, obviously, but the Chinese Chong, boy, I'd love to see it. Um, other than that, that's it. See you guys.